Ladies and gentlemen, as I said, we're back with Tyshawn, the winner of Get You On Magazine Team Model. How you doing? Good. He said he's good. Look at him. You good? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, all right. Listen, first and foremost, I want you to tell for the, the people that don't know what school you go to. Let's start off with the school that you go to. Military Magnet. Military? Military Magnet. You go to Military Magnet? Where is that located at? Rivers Avenue. Okay, so tell me, you won the team model and get you one? How do you feel about that? Well, that was my third time to be, you know, I basically been doing this since I have a little eight months, got your fees. Eight months? Yes, wow! <laughs> eight months, and you won three times in a row? Wow, so you want to be a model? And that's that's your folk, that's your goal. I mean, be like when you get older, you want to actually be, um, you want to just model as in magazines, or do you want to walk the runway model? What, what is it that you want to do? Well, for right now, since you know I'm in school, I do both. I'm in teaching my magazine, mm -hmm. and I've been modeling for Star Beauty Productions, the Films Talent for years now. He's been modeling for uh, Star. Start B Productions, and he's been in the Get You a Magazine. So you guys gotta go pick out that up to watch Tight Show, cause I know I seen him at the awards, and he truly is a bomb. You understand? So you guys gotta make sure you go get that and see that. Okay? Listen, how? About, tell me about school. With you being in school and the kids knowing what you do, how good or bad is that for you? It's not really good or bad. It's in between. You know, they crack jokes here and there. You know, telling me. Like how I got into it. I told them I've been doing this since eight months. Oh, it comes natural to me. Do you? So how do you handle that? Do you handle that? Do you get angry sometimes if they say something you don't like, or do you kind of just not pay no attention? I really just laugh at it. You know, that's like how they feel, their perspective point of what I'm doing. They got their perspective. I got my perspective. I'm scared of him. He said perspective. That's a big word. I'm <laughs> I'm a little scared of him, let me tell you. Listen, so with the um, and, and it, with the Get You On Magazine and you being a team model and all that stuff, is there anything else you want to do past the team modeling? Is there something else that you, you want to do? Well, besides modeling, I'm acting on um, Army Wives. Besides modeling, that's what I'm doing. You've done it or you're currently doing it now? I'm currently doing it now. Get out, the Army Wives? Yes, wow, do you know when that's going to air? It is during the fall. During the fall? Yes, well, that's something that we definitely may want to keep up with because I want the people to see you in there. So um, just let me know. We're going to have to put that on Sandra Wilson's blog radio talk show. Let the people know they need to watch you on that. You understand? I was actually going to do a, a, a movie, and I'm going to still do it. And I remember asking your mom, can you audition for a part? So you think maybe you can still come and audition for that? Yes, she I'm sure she would. I hope she would anyway. I really do. What are you laughing at? Yeah, got, <laughs> got you there. <laughs> That's all right. Okay, do you have a girlfriend? I gotta ask. Come on now. Yeah, I gotta ask that question. You didn't laugh at that. You don't have a girlfriend? I don't. Know. You don't. You don't know. Or you got a girlfriend and you don't want her to beat your butt when you get back to school? Or you? No, I mean, you know, what's going on here? Go, go. You see, y'all, he said he didn't have a girlfriend, then he said they don't go to the same school. Listen, honey, watch yourself. <laughs> watch yourself. Listen, is there, like, what if, you know, I, I tell you something, with the kids that are going to school today and stuff like that, how do you manage it? I think I asked you this question just a little bit ago, but I want to ask a little bit different. How do you manage to, like, keep away from the bullies and things of that nature? Because that's something that's really going on in school today right now, um, all the bullying and stuff like that. How do you stay away from that? I mean, like when you get in trouble, like recently I've gotten in trouble in school because where I sit, there's people like they crack jokes about teachers. So I got in trouble recently for that, and I didn't, I didn't get in trouble because the teacher didn't know that I didn't do nothing. She knew I sit by them, but she thought it was me. So all I basically do to get away from bullying is move or ask the teacher if you can be sit in a different seat with the people who try to do something with their life instead of. Picking on other kids, trying to do better. 
Well, that's good. It's safe to say that because, I mean, you know, in this business, you do have to be with people, in, just as in school, that um, is doing, you know, the right thing. I've noticed that your mom has supported you, like, 100%. You know what I'm saying? And I want to get with those to mom. You know what I'm saying? Because she supported you 100%. Tell me how important it is to you for your mother to be in your life in regards to what you do. How important that is to you, that mom's around. You know, she had me, so... For her to sit there and support me since I've been little, I've been doing, like when I get I, I get paid for army wise, I give her some of the money I make Aww. since since you know she's been here. I still live with my mom. I give her money, help her pay for bills, or if she want clothes, she can have some money, and then she give me the rest. She takes how much she wants, and I get the rest for myself. Oh, that is so sweet. But honey, I'm a cougar, so you better watch out. I'm gonna come look for you. <laughs> <laughs> you better watch out. <laughs> but listen, that is so sweet that you do that. That is, you know, guys, if you're looking at this, anybody his age, that's, you know, got a mom that's really looking out for you, you got, where's my kids? You need to tell my kids that. No, really, I'm way older than you. God, good Lord, let me tell you, it's really something. I am so proud of you. I really am. I asked your mom, can you come on the show? I'm like, please let him come on. Not, not only because of the teen thing, but because you're doing something for yourself. Your mother's so supportive. And I just wanted a good teen on my show. I bet no good ones. <laughs> but I just asked your mom, can you come on my show? I wanted to know more about you. I've seen you before. Ask of you to do some things for me. And I'm going to continue to ask when we get it all together. And I just wanted you on here because I just thought you was doing such a terrific thing and having such a great mom to support you so much. And I just want kids out there to know that kids like you are really doing really good through all the troubles that we got going on out, out here. So can I ask of you to say, tell me something that's going on right now that you really, really don't like that's going on with kids that you may have some advice for kids out there. Basically be a leader, don't be a follower. There you have it. Be a leader and don't be a follower, and that is a beautiful thing. Do you have a lot of friends? Some. Good friends? I yeah. Some, you know, they, you know, they do what they do. And you do what you do? Some. Okay, well, that's good. That's good. And so then let's, let's switch this a little bit, and then tell me about um, things that are really good that you like, you know, that's going on in the world today. Tell me some good things that you like, you know, like, okay, this is what I really, really like. You know, you've got kids playing sports, you know, doing it, doing it. They what they do to play sports, they stay out of trouble. I mean, you still have with them playing sports, their friends, you know, doing dumb things, you know, all of that. Other than that, that's all I got to say. Basically, do what you got to do. That's right. Do you have a Facebook? Yes. Tell, tell, tell them where they can find you. Touchdown Rocket 3, Facebook. <laughs> it's going to roll up, so he's going to get it anyway. What about a Twitter? Do you, you got a Twitter? No. Not, not your Twitter page yet? How about you, you, you're done with the face, with the MySpace stuff, right? Yeah. <laughs> Facebook is so dead. <laughs> it is so boring. But anyway, listen, I gotta tell you something. I'm very proud of you. And I just can't say that enough, but I, I really am proud of you. And I'm gonna follow you. I'm gonna support you. And when I do get my little thing together in regards, I'm gonna go back and ask your mom, can you come back and audition for it? You already in Army Wives. I may be small potatoes to you now since you're not doing all the Army Wives on me. You go. You you wanna look out for me? You, you, yeah. You gonna come audition for me? Cause I don't know me wives. They so up there and all that stuff. I feel embarrassed at you about coming audition for me. But I'm actually anyway. You understand? And I hope you get the part. And I think you will. So listen, I just want to tell you, thank you so much. I'm so proud of you. Anything that we can do here at the Sandra Wilson Talk Show, anything that we can do for you, please let us know. You are truly a leader. I see that, kids. Please, please look at this. This is a good kid here. He won the Teen Model Geechee One Awards. Let me tell you, that is three times. He put the three hands up three times. Yes. You going for the fourth one? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, because you know what? I won myself. It, it makes you work harder, does it not? It makes you work much harder. So you got some new stuff in store for us. Yeah. So when it comes around again, we can see you win again. Yeah. We can see Mama jump up on like she jumped the jack carrying on out there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You know. So um, I can't wait to see you there next year. I can't wait to see you win again. And I'm also very proud of you. And I want to thank you so much for coming on the Sandra Wilson's talk show. Okay, I really appreciate that. And I would love to have you back again. And we're going to get you on the blog too. Okay? All right, ladies and gentlemen, Tyshawn, thank you so much.